Okay, so there's our cuboid from the previous video. Now we're going to go ahead and add the ultrasonic sensor to the drive base. This is not any more difficult than what we just did. Just, I think, nine steps it said to go ahead and get this attachment on. So we're going to start with our 1x7 gray beam. And you can see here that we're going to need two black connector pins and two blue connector pins. All right, and it looks like the blue connector pins go right there in the middle, and the black go on the outside, just like so, just like you see there. Then we're going to go to the next step, and we're going to add two of the T pieces that come in your kit. This was one of those pieces that when I first got into this kit many moons ago, I didn't really see the need for it, but the more I build robots and work with teams in First Lego League and other challenges, it's such a crucial piece to build some really strong, strengthened structures, as well as really start to uh, amp up your building skills. All right, so once we got that, we're going to go ahead and add two more black connector pins, and you can tell that those go at the bottom of the T pieces that we just added underneath the gray beam. That's the key here, so we're going to go ahead and add those on. Just like so, underneath, you can see that there, maybe. And then from there, our ultrasonic is going to clip on. So the back of the ultrasonic has two pinholes. And so if we go ahead and get this lined up just so, they should come together in perfect harmony. And there you go. We're in good, good shape there. Now, what we got to do is we need to add it to the front, to our open frame here. And so in order to do that, we're going to use these two blue connector pins already added to this piece. And it'll just click on, just like so. And the last thing now is to add our cable. They're recommending the 10-inch cable. So I've got that here. And you can see that they want us to kind of weave it through. Um, so if we have it on the underside here, just like they've got it lined up, just like this, okay, we can clip it in right there and then kind of push it through, which is always a unique challenge. Now, we've got to get our sensors, remember, to ports 1, 2, 3, or 4, not A, B, C, D, because those are for the motors. So as you kind of finagle this through, I found that it kind of works best to go go to the side just like I'm doing here kind of keep that back and then go ahead and get that clipped in there that way make sure you hear that snap in so it clips and then it looks like they want us to oh, they haven't tell us what port yet we're going to go ahead and put it into port number four so then I will go ahead here clip that in and here's one of the things that's cool that's not in this kit, but in the newer kits, the Mindstorms Robot Inventor for the Retail or the Spike Prime is they've got wire clips. So you could actually then, if you wanted to, go in and clip these wires to these pieces to really kind of get them out of sight, out of mind. But, you know, it's, it's looking good at this point. And we are now done. This is what your robot should look like. The ultrasonic now down below. All right. And we should be able to... Rock and roll now with some learning of how to detect objects and obstacles. All right, cuboids built, ultrasonic attachments built. Let's go ahead and move on to section 2.3. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace.